Forging. The manufacturing processes of metal parts are incredibly diverse, as are the size, shape and functions of the various details. Factories around the world process a wide variety of metals on a daily basis, for example, iron, copper, titanium and aluminium. Since the metal has a high hardness, it must have reached the forging temperature before it can be processed. Each metal has its own temperature, depending on its physical and chemical properties. To work with iron, it's necessary to heat it to a temperature of 800 to 1250 degrees Celsius. Copper processing takes place at a temperature of 650 to 1000 degrees. The forging temperature of titanium is 900 to 1600 degrees, and aluminium and its alloys need only 400 to 480 degrees. There are several different types of forging. It can be made with hammers, pneumatic, steam or hydraulic. Another method is stamping. There is also a manual forging, but it's not suitable for industrial processes. Generally speaking, the process of forging metal and making parts consists of four steps. The first is to heat the metal to the desired temperature. The second is to compress the metal to achieve a homogeneous object. Immediately after the oven, the metal is pressed with a hammer, so there's no hollows inside. The third step is to give the detail the right shape. The softer the metal, the more flexible it is. During this stage, the metal is poured into molds cut, stretched or bent, depending on the shape it should have. The fourth step is the final treatment, and as the resulting surface is uneven, it must be smoothed out. Ink. The video shows how ink is produced for use in a wide variety of industries. Any drawing, design, text on paper or cardboard which we see around is painted with this product. Here we see the production process of the Canadian company, the Printing Ink Company. The numerous color variations used by designers and typographers are based on four basic colors. These are yellow, magenta, cyan, and black. It should be noticed that black is the most important color, as it's responsible for the brightness of the remaining colors. To create the colors, the two ingredients are used. The first is a pigment that contains a color similar to a color powder. The second is a thick, sticky lacquer. The first step is to place the pigment and the lacquer into a special large tank, where they're mixed with an industrial mixer. The tank also has a heating system, because when the mixture is hot, it's more liquid and mixes better. The next stage is polishing. The fact is that pigment particles, which a short time ago were particles of colored dust, generate lumps within the mixture. The paint will have a uniform color only when these lumps are destroyed. There are two types of equipment for this process. The first uses small metal balls to break up the lumps. However, after this, the paint still has a knobbly surface. To finally make it smooth and shiny, the second equipment is used, a machine with rollers. After this, the paint is ready. However, in companies that manufacture high quality paint, the final step is quality control.
ATM. Absolutely all ATMs have a similar design and are produced based on the same technique. The device consists of two sections. The lower part is a steel safe in which the money is located. The top section is equipped with everything needed to perform the operation on the user's side. The card reader, the panel with buttons and the monitor. Most of the non-electrical parts used to assemble ATMs are made of steel sheets. Workers place the steel plate on the cutter which is controlled by a computer program. With the help of a laser, the parts are cut in the desired shape. The finished metal parts are immersed in a liquid, which in the future will protect them from corrosion. The parts are dried in a special oven and then painted. All components will be used for the frame of the top section of the ATM. When it's assembled, people start working. They manually connect all the modules and the electrical parts, connecting them together and fixing them. Then, in the next step, the top section is attached to the prefabricated safe. By the way, the thickness of its walls reaches 5 centimeters. The external panel, equipped with a keyboard, speaker, cameras and other things, is also assembled manually. When all the components are ready, they are then connected to each other so that the ATM can start working. LEGO the first Lego plastic brick was built in 1949. For more than 50 years, the parts have been created to fit together. A Lego brick made 50 years ago can easily fit a newly made brick. This is the result of careful monitoring and verified production stages. In factories all over the world, designers use the same technology. The material used to create the parts are plastic granules, bought from other factories by trucks and stored in a warehouse. Interestingly, the granules themselves are either colorless or have a white or black color. From the warehouse, the granules are sent to the heart of production, the molding section. Here, the machines produce LEGO figures 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The factory also has more than 50 different colors for the bricks. The raw material is heated to a temperature of 230 to 310 degrees Celsius, becoming a homogeneous mixture, similar to a toothpaste. Then this paste falls into the stamping apparatus, where, under great pressure, the famous bricks are created. The waste after manufacture is immediately recycled and reused in production. The shape of the manufactured parts is determined by the templates. Thanks to them, the parts have the exact size. Each plant pays special attention to taking care of these templates. The boxes with the finished parts are placed on the conveyor and then sent to the warehouse. The number of details and boxes is unimaginable, but the system is automated. When certain items are needed for a particular set, the computer finds the right box and grabs it. In this way, the parts are packed correctly. Audi Q5 The cars by large and well-known companies such as Audi are produced in factories where manual work is combined with automatic work. This video shows how the Audi Q5 cars are created. The chassis material is aluminium. To seal the parts, a press with a load of 81 tons is used. Specially trained workers look for flaws in all the parts. 
Specifically, in this plant, 670 units of robotic equipment work to produce up to 150,000 automobiles per year. Thanks to them, the components are assembled and gradually acquire the shape of the vehicles we all know. Each robotic arm has its own purpose. For example, some move details and others join them together. The finished frame is bathed with an anti-corrosive liquid. After drying, the frame is painted and the other robots and people work hand in hand, step by step, and finally assemble each car. The final stage of production is the quality control of the car. Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals. Amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now, you won't regret it.